Well, you know, for me, um, I, uh, I like to be inspired, you know, it's, it's important for me to dream clearly and I can't do it from a little tiny desk in a small office. I have to dream mm -hmm. big, you know what I mean? So everything has to be aspirational around me, but that could be an issue that I have. I don't really look at cost effective when it comes to dreams. I just want to make sure that I always have scale and that I'm constantly evolving. I've never really looked at saving money and you know, Either way, you're gonna fight, so you might as well fight in luxury. But then let me let me ask you. Let, that's a good way to start. You said this yeah. numerous times. You don't believe in saving money. You put your money in the streets. So we, you obviously know our background, right? We're financial literacy. This goes against yeah. everything. Yeah. This goes against everything that we talk about. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, no, 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 you guys are. I would look at y'all like y'all report about financial stuff that's going on first, and you also talk about the businesses that you're in. But there's so many ways to do businesses. Like, there's a perspective of an entrepreneur from a founder. There's a perspective of an entrepreneur that buys companies in distress. There's so many mm -hmm. different ways to pull a skin a business cat. Y'all do the way more or less. You know, you don't use your own money. We do. We like, only use. We only. No, no we only use our own money. We are doing that. Oh, we are doing money. that. Yo, that's what we're not going to do. Look, we listen, only me, use me our own money. Me and Rashad's biggest yeah. fight was about. <laughs> yeah. My bad. Yeah. yeah. My bad. I never heard y'all say that though. But I, it's my bad. My bad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hear a lot of traditional things. Look, listen, I, I'm I'm super anti-deal. That was me and Shadi's biggest fight. I don't want no fucking ads on camera. He like, bro. No, we chill. Self I'm like, we've self funded. Yeah. Okay. Self funded. Well, you hang out with a lot of billionaires, and a lot of them don't use their own money. So I thought maybe you were practicing their same model. So the people I see you with, I think, you know, approach it that way. But maybe but that's it, the it, reason it, why it, they don't. It, that's, maybe that's the reason why they don't offer you their studios for free like me. Is, is that a bad thing? though, not to use your own because we've we've only it, used our it, own money. It's about being savvy enough to raise it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. The thing about from my observation of people that do raise money, like someone we know in common, like a Keenan or something, you know, what they say is it's it's a it's a game of mark of, of odds. It's 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 three successful meetings out of every 70. So it might mean mm -hmm. someone has to tell you no 67 times. You know me, I'm not good with no one time. You know what I mean? So and 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 that's because of the PTSD that I have of shopping major artists like uh, Jay or Kanye, literally, and people telling me no. And if I would have listened to them, then I would have potentially missed out on a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not listening to people telling me no that just aren't cooler than me. And I'm not asking people to give me something, pause, that's up for people that's not cooler than me. And I'd rather, I'd rather work. I'd rather fight. Mm. To me, it's more of a fight to be around people you don't like, people that smell funny, people that are just not the type of taste that you want to be around. You know, that's why I'm in Winter Haven. I'm <laughs> I don't understand that, though. That's the part. That's the thing that I don't understand about Dame is I don't understand why Dame throw shots at people like like why why say you know it's a struggle for me to be around people that smell funny you know all that like that's unnecessary and see that's the part that five brown um that's the part that five brown like to ignore five five rock with him on a lot of things but see five is not objective enough to actually say yeah, you know, why did he gotta do that? Like, why, 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 why do that? Why be in a why those shots and start talking crazy? Like, I, I don't understand that. Like, it's just not necessary. It's not something that I would just be thinking of and be like, yeah, man, people be talk, people be smelling funny, and I don't like hearing no's from people that smell funny. <sighs> No, I don't hate him. I'm just objectively listening to what it is that he's saying, and I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Like, don't you know that you cut yourself off from the possibility of doing business with people when you say stuff like that? 
don't want to be around everybody. You know what yeah. I'm saying? On the media side, though, the media landscape is changing. Podcasting is damn near fell apart. I know you for 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 many people it has. I didn't know. I, I never really got into the podcast game. I was just on people's podcast game. You know what yeah. I mean? But now that I have most are doing well. Now that I have my own platform, you know, it just makes sense to leverage whatever's going on in the media to something that you really own. But but for you, at what point wins the big exit? To back to Shadi's point, I know you reinvest everything, but at any point, do you think you would just sell off one of the businesses right off into the sunset? Or, or, or I'm, I'm I'm selling off my interest in reasonable doubt. So you know, if I can get a certain amount of money for that, you know, again, I was trying to you know sell it at auction as an NFT. To Shout even. out to uh, the super chats. I'm gonna read the super chats in one second, y'all. Years ago, I was trying to get 20 yeah. 30 million, and that's what was going to fund the rest of my companies. And then I had to even be strategic about because uh, this is a business show, people that are here should understand this. Yeah, so I'm the CEO of Rockefeller Inc., right? But if someone else pretends they're the CEO of Rockefeller Inc., they could sue somebody on behalf of the company, correct? So Jay and Biggs got. Jay said he's the, the, the CEO of Rockefeller and he hires his own. But see, that's the thing. Like, nobody ever brought up. And see, this is the gripe that a lot of people have. Like, Ian, the guy in the middle, Ian asked Dane about, you know, is there ever an exit strategy or whatever? And then Dame automatically started talking about Biggs and Jay. And it's like... He talks about them even when nobody brings up Rockefeller or Biggs and Biggs and Jay. And then he'll sit there and say, well, people ask me about it, and that's why I talk about it. No, nobody asked about Biggs and Jay. Now, I understand the reference point, and I understand that he's about to use this as an example in order to, you know what I'm saying, in order to illustrate a point. But nobody asked about Jay-Z. Nobody in this interview asked about Jay Z. Nobody. Nobody asked about Jay Z. But somehow, some way, I know Jay be sitting back like, "Damn, I ain't, ain't nobody even mentioned me in this interview. Ain't nobody even said anything about this in this interview. Why? Why my name being mentioned? Like again?" lawyers but now rockefeller inc is paying those lawyers so in essence now he's accusing me of doing something that i didn't do meaning trying to sell uh, a, a complete the a whole interest everybody's interest when i was only trying to sell mine for the sole purpose of trying to change bylaws but for making um phony bylaws to say that we collectively have to agree if someone wants to sell and the message they sent out is that if you try to buy this, whoever buys it, you're going to get a lawsuit. So it became a toxic asset. Yeah. You understand what I mean? So what I had to do was take a judgment, let them go chase it. But now I get to go to a public auction. They can't say shit. Whatever I make, 800000 got to go to them. But if I'm trying to sell it for $10 million, $20 million, that's how much it would have cost in legal fees. Double because he would have been burning my money. Plus, I'd have been paying money to go to court with guys that I'd never want to go to court with. And that's mm. a business thing. But definitely, when you flip, you selling something to put it into something else. Yeah, You understand what I'm saying? So I have no, there's like, I'm not going to say I have a personal attachment to it. But I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I, I'd rather put that into something I own 100%. Something that I did 20 years ago which is what I call a form of residual income can make me so much money or even help me fund something else 30 years later. So this whole thing with reasonable doubt, just so I have a clear understanding, you're trying to sell, you, you own one third That's of reason. I, I own one third of Rockefeller Inc. We sold Rockefeller LLC, which had everything else that we made in it, but I carved that out and Rockefeller Inc. has one asset. That's reasonable doubt. That's owned mm. by me, Jay, and Biggs. I wanted to sell my one-third as an NFT, you yep. know, innovative two, three years ago while it was popping. 
and they did a lawsuit saying I tried, not tried, they said I put the whole thing on the blockchain, which was a lie, but only yeah. to Buddy Waters. You know what bylaws are when you have a company, right? The yep. whole company, we did it when we were young. I, didn't have, I had no bylaws. So Jay called the meeting, didn't show up to it. Biggs and them voted bylaws to be that in order to sell it, we all got to agree, which means if somebody bought it, they could always say the bylaws. Because I had a judgment, I knew this dickhead pause, Chris Brown and Josh Weber pause and Muddy Waters, whatever. And, and not, not, not Chris Brown, not Chris Brown, the singer. Not, not the singer. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't you been keeping up at all? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm saying for the public. Well, for the audience. For and the when public. they clip it. I, yeah. Yeah. I just went through four, not lawsuits, trials with the same lawyer for different cases. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Four trials, straight trials. A trial gonna cost you at least five hundred a pop. That's like you know two million right there. Now think about it. If you go to four trials, and what I lost was defamation because these guys triggered me. They steal my shit. And then when I, you know, you think this freedom of speech is really not. But it's not. I keep saying it. No, it's not. Yeah. So think about Donald Trump just got hit for defamation, like 90, 80 million. They were trying to hit pause me like that. Four lawsuits collectively, eight, nine hundred thousand all together. That's legal fees. That's a joke. That's a big loss for them. Nine hundred thousand only hurts when you don't have no money. You understand? When you got twenty, ask anyone that went through it. If, if, if Donald Trump would have got hit for two million, he'd have been laughing. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So to me, it was nothing. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about eight hundred thousand. But y'all going if you want my, the money, go get it from Reasonable Doubt because they got the money. You so, understand? So I knew either child support was gonna go get it. Or a, a creditor or someone I had a judgment with that's a dickhead was going to go get it. And they went and did it. And what the judge said was those bylaws that y'all tried to make in 2021 are bullshit. Mm -hmm. You can't tell that man he can't sell his personal property, especially if he needs to pay a bill. So it's ordered to public auction and a, a million or 800 whatever with interest, whatever, that will go to them. But the rest I keep. So hopefully people see it the way I see it and the way Jay saw it and think, because, you know, if I, if I could get some real real coin for it, I'd be happy. I'd be laughing. But if not, at least I'm going to be innovative and I'm going to try. That's part of the thrill of being an entrepreneur. So where did, where did this thing come that Cameron and Mace is going to buy it? I didn't say they didn't buy it. Allegedly, they, you know, I have the option. You know, they, I, I'm, it might not be a bad thing. I don't know if they, I just don't know if they want to deal with that shit. I'm like, you don't want that, man. You know what I mean? But yeah. they just want to play. You know what I mean? Like, they yeah. want to have fun. Like, just the kind of fun we be having and shit. They like to have fun like that, and I'm with it. And yeah. those are my brothers, and, you know, I'm, I'm glad to see them doing so well. And they figured it out. You know, the, the, game, uh. is branded, the game is branded ads. You know? That's the game. And But isn't, well, well tell me more about, about that real, really quick about branded ads when you put a brand in your content or uh, branded content i might be saying the verbiage wrong so for me i wouldn't say that everybody sees me from my platforms i go viral on other people's platform to an advertiser they don't give a fuck what platform it comes from so as long as the a a eyeball sees it so my mm -hmm. reach i would say every time i put something out would be too many two million engagements no matter what but not from me i might get a hundred thousand two hundred but on somebody else's joint, they might get 250 and I see people get millions collectively. That's what I consider my reach. So, for example, the Dash Diabetes Network, the branded, the branded content was I did the content about diabetes. I, I would use their stuff and that content lives forever. It's not a commercial. It's content with with the brands in it. Gotcha. So, so and, let me you know, again, I, I'm. The thing about getting into a new business is learning the business. And like you said, media changes every day from the ad tech. To, but if you don't have sales and really understand that game, then you're not going to have a television network. And you think people are going to subscribe. They really not. If it's not free. All right. So here's, you know what, Dame, you, you're, you're, you're actually a good guy, right? You're a good guy. I want to give you your flowers, man. You've mm -hmm. always been very good to us. You provided us free information. You provided us your studio. You've provided us resources over over the course of time. You've provided us insight and information. Um, a little aggressive with the way that you speak, but 
I'm able to navigate. I, you know, that's my vibe. <laughs> I'm, but I'm able to navigate that. But I appreciate. I pre- that's because sometimes he's a high yellow nigga. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate. I appreciate the fact that I think you're. And that's dope. Let me give Dame uh, some credit on that. If some, in the same way that people will say, "Hey, man, he be screaming on people like the Steve Stouts," when. Rashad and Ian say, yo, he's been very generous. He's been, you know, great in helping us out. He offered us free information, whatever it is that he did. Um, if they if they are speaking up and saying on his behalf, listen, man, you're a very nice guy and you're very helpful and you're very considerate and all of this stuff, you got to give him his flowers for that. You know what I'm saying? Because you want the whole picture to be painted. You don't want it to just be biased. You don't want it to just be one way. I'm sure that there's people that, that such as Rashad and Ian saying it right now, will say, hey, listen, man, Dame has actually been a very good guy to us and we want to give him his flowers and we want to give him his props as a result of it. I think that that's dope. Let me give Dame his flowers and his round of applause. Because we're not just going to skip over that. The same way that we have or we take into consideration when somebody says something negative about somebody, is the same way that you got to get flowers when somebody say that, you know, he's a good guy. And so, you know, you take all of that into consideration because everybody is not looking at him and saying, man, I don't necessarily want to work with him because obviously Rashad is saying that that is dope. And so, you know, we got to we got to keep the same energy across the board uh, because we we objective and it's not about Dane per se. It's about the content. It's about what's being communicated at that particular time. In this conversation, he's being celebrated, and we need to give him his flowers as a result of it because he deserves respect for how it is that he's contributed and poured into Rashad and Ian and Ian. So shout out, shout out to Dane for that. Let's continue. You're a good guy, right? I'm going somewhere with this. And we have a big audience, and um, I think that I want to give you an opportunity to kind of – because there's a narrative out there that – you have um, been very dysfunctional in the business world. The narrative is that you're, so Steve Stout said this, right? But I heard other people say this, that you're very bright, you're very intelligent, but I'm paraphrasing, you're dysfunctional in business environments and become toxic. He said this recently on Shannon Sharp show. So that's a narrative that I've heard from Steve Stout, Leo Cohen. Wait, wait, wait. all the people that have this narrative are the people that are actually robbing the culture that have come out to, you know, the, 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 the word culture virtual was coined from Lior, Steve Stout, and a couple of others in that period of time. These are people. Shout out to the people in the chat. I appreciate y'all for holding me down. Let me read some of these super chats uh, really quickly because I want to make sure that I acknowledge the people that hold me down and hold down the platform. I want to get y'all in here. Uh, O'Shea went Umar. <laughs> Yo, wow. Shout out to O'Shea. That's my bro, man. Lyric the Gamer says, I tried to send some grace. O'Shea is a good content creator, but I completely disagreed when he did a video trying to compare Candace to Cynthia G. Did he really? Nah, come on. I don't think O'Shea would go that far in trying to compare Candace Owens to Cynthia G, would he? J Ben says, to aid O'Shea blood pressure, I can see the veins. I can see the veins. Shout out to you. Uh, AI says, where's Black Lives Matters? The CEO scammed you. It is a fact. Shout out to you, AI or AL. Uh, David Simpson Jr. says, O'Shea said, I want all the smoke. Maybe it's part marketing, too. You know what I'm saying? To switch it up and and get people riled up. I don't listen to any pro-black pan-African type content creator, so forgive me if this is a dumb question. What is the argument for why we need to further the black race? Is it purely just to have more black people here? Um, classy, I think that, I think that people really, if you really want to be honest about it, I think that people have taken a side as far as furthering the black race, um, because they think that it's a competition. And so I think that people essentially group themselves, uh, because they feel like, because they cannot closely identify with this thing, that that's the thing that they suffering as a result of. So I don't know. That's just my guess for it. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Jay Ben says she getting the stuffing knocked out of her muffins. <laughs> yeah. 
Young Hove says, I just became a chaser. And let me give a round of applause to Young Hove. <laughs> Shout out to the chasers. Lucid Experience says, O'Shea was hypocritical in his stance. It's easy to say Candace Owens is supposedly cooning when he's all the way in Uganda, away from everyone. Uh, can't get mad at her when she's out here doing the work. Shout out to the Lucid Experience. I appreciate you. Young Hove says, been following you for two years, and man, you haven't missed a beat on any topic. That's how bosses move, a boss mind move, you know, um, and what the F is Dame talking about? He always tried to act like the smartest person in the room, shaking my head. Shout out to Young Hove. I appreciate you for holding me down, big dog. Mike Johnson says, it was their aura asking Anton, you have to see it with your third eye. Peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism. Yes. Uh, let's continue into this Dame Dash conversation real quick. Steve Stout's a guy that because he wanted to be Jay-Z's partner, he had to, like, did you see the interview that he did with Un? I mean, that um, Vlad did with Un, and, and Un was like, because again, Steve yeah. Stout went, went yeah, and he said, I, there's a conspiracy to put Damon out of business. Now, you have to think about how could I be dysfunctional if everyone I put in business is very doing pretty well? It wasn't because they left me. Yeah. And how many different kind of businesses so it's just a fluke that I put Rachel Roy on, that I put Lee Daniels on, that I put Kevin Hart on, that I put Kanye on, Cameron on. Like, I could go on and on. Mm -hmm. You know, does that sound like dysfunction to you? But of course, they're going to try to make someone that's really talented, that really is about respecting the art look dysfunctional, even though they've made so much. Even for you to ask me that question, would be saying that you've been mind fucked. Pause. Like, tell me an artist that says that. That says what? If if Jay ever fell, <clears throat> if Jay Z ever fell, Dame Dash would be dancing and celebrating. If Jay Z ever had ended up like Diddy for whatever reason, and people came after him in the same way that they come after Diddy, they coming after Diddy right now. Dame, I believe, would be the first to do interviews. He will be getting so many calls to be doing interviews to give his perspective about it. And he would definitely be happy about it. Because, again, and this is the this is the other side of it. Let's just be trans, let's be objective. I don't see Jay-Z mentioning Dame Dash's name. I never ever hear Jay ever mentioned Dame. I'm, I believe that when Jay wind up doing interviews like he did the one with um, Gail King, where he was talking about when he was walking through the library and he was looking at the dedication to him. Shout out to y'all. I'm going to read the Super Chat shortly. Um, I believe that he put in the interview request, don't ask me nothing about Dame. Don't ask me nothing about Dame. No, I'm giving, I'm, giving, I'm giving you an opportunity. I'm giving you an opportunity. Uh, yeah. I'm asking you to give an opportunity for free thinking. You tell me <laughs> one artist that says that my business acumen is dysfunctional. An artist. I, I don't I don't know. I'm I don't know. Right. I, Everyone you named was yeah. like so Lior invented the 360. And I'm against it. So of course he's gonna say that. Mm -hmm. This other dude. He's the one that they used to be telling me I was Steve used to tell people I was crazy because I told people to be independent. He called me and said, sorry, because his business model and probably because he, and again, I don't know, it was allegedly whatever, had to raise some money and got some money. And it's probably a hustle for him. But it's, 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 it's now he's preaching every single thing that I've been preaching for 20 years. Yeah. So imagine having Jay-Z, Leo Cohen and Steve Stout and other people that I don't know completely admitting openly that they've conspired to get you out of business. Is that not what unsaid? Yeah. Um, but so let me how ask could you trust anything. Wait, wait. How could you trust anything Steve Stout or Leo says based on their past? Like, wouldn't it, wouldn't it make sense that they would say, like, if somebody, like for me, dudes that don't want me to, fool around with their girls, they start saying lies and bullshit about me in front of them. No, oh, I hate that. Also, oh, they build. <laughs> what? 
What? What? What? What? Dudes that don't want me to fool around with their girls, they start saying lies and stuff in front of them. What? Again, I'm a C student. I'm a C student. So um, I'm trying to make sure that I put it all together so that we all on. <laughs> we all, I'm trying to figure out. Why was that an example in order to correlate or to to try to communicate to us a parallel between what it is that he's talking about from a business perspective? <laughs> Maybe he's going to expound on it again. I'm slow, so give me a second. This is Dirty Mackin. Got you. But, but do, you me, think, do you think you think you're... Do wait, 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 wait. For me, for him to be saying that publicly... I understand what the analogy is supposed to be. It was left field. It, it, it's, isn't, it doesn't resonate as well as I thought it was. Business that has nothing to do with him. I had no business. Don't you think that's trying to put some degree of a narrative and make me have a degree of a reputation? But did I not send you a uh, a video of me doing country music with all my cowboy shit on from my ranch two years ago? Yes or no, Rashad? Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. Now, two years later, everybody has cowboy and doing country I could. Am I in the future or are people copying? All this, <laughs> I can, I it's hard think. being an innovator, though. Yeah, it's, it's, hard your, being it's your innovator. delivery. It's hard, it's hard being an innovator. Wait, wait. It's hard being an innovator with people conspiring against you to take your ideas and take the credit by saying things like you just said. None of those people should be talking about, especially Steve. I did no business with him. Unless, you know what he has to gain from talking bad about me? He gets to do business with Jay-Z. See, this is what they sold Jay-Z. And y'all keep asking me why I keep talking. Y'all, It's my history. Y'all keep asking about him. But nope. I'm going to talk about it. It don't matter. No, 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 no. In this particular interview, nobody asked about Jay-Z. Come on, man. Listen, we're going to be 100% objective and we're going to have the conversation. In this particular interview, nobody, zero, zilch, nada, not one person. Nobody, literally nobody asked, nobody asked about Jay-Z. Man, I think that this dude be losing sleep over Jay, bro. Honestly, I genuinely think that he be losing sleep over Jay. Because this is the only way that I could actually defend myself at this point. Because yeah. they've already admitted they conspire against me. You understand what I'm saying? They've already admitted it. So... What the fuck am I supposed to do? Can you imagine being an innovator and having three or four people lying on you and doing anything they can to make your name look bad just so they can get the credit for what you do? And now you look at everything I've done, look at everything they're doing and ask me if, if people are not copying me. And I do it with my own money. These people have the ability to raise and use other people's money because they'll give it... I'm not going to give my culture and a cultural idea to somebody else's culture for them to exploit just because they got the bread. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? To partner with somebody um, is not giving away culture, in my personal opinion. Um, I think that there's multiple different ways. to. Let's just look at it from a business perspective. Forget the culture part right now. Let's look at it from a business perspective. There's multiple different ways to skin a cat. Uh, for some business ideas, even I, because I believe in putting up, up my, my own money, I put up my own money, I put up my own money to build my own houses, um, I put up my own money when it comes to investing, um, stocks, everything. I put up my own money. I have zero investors. Nobody owns me or any of my companies whatsoever. It's just me. And But I also understand the play, especially when it comes to expanding something or you started the business, but you want to partner with somebody because you realize that they got expertise. It, it, it's similar to to some people need a major label. Some people need a major label. Other people, I think, thrive and they operate much better as an independent. Strange Music is one example with Tech Nine, and then Drake is another example. They both filthy rich. They both super rich. Um, but they took two different paths, and I think that Drake is a the type of artist that can go 
um, independent. But at the same time, I think that the machine works for him because it allows for him to capitalize off of his availability and partnership in that sense, in that sense makes sense. And so, um, you know, I know everybody talk about independent, but being independent is incredibly hard. It's incredibly rewarding when you get it right, but it's super hard um, as far as independence, right? Because you have to compete on a large scale. You got to compete in the global marketplace. It doesn't matter what you're talking about, content creation, music, whatever. You're competing in a global marketplace. And so you have a lot of powerful players that have a lot of money, that have a lot of resources, and your reach is only so far, depending on what it is that you want to accomplish. Um, I look at currency, and as great as currency is, currency and Larry June and people like that are content with their reach because they have a core fan base and a core audience that really fuck with them. Um, but at the same time, some other people want other things depending on what it is that they're trying to accomplish. So uh, the independence versus... Uh, partnering or, or signing to a major in any deal. Um, it just depends on what your investment style is. I don't think that there's a right or wrong. I think that there's risk. There's calculated risk. If you want to minimize the risk, and you can give a slice to somebody else and let them take on a percentage of the risk. But being 100% independent for some people is not necessarily the way. For most people, I would say it's not the way. Like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. That's why I didn't put pay the full on another channel or network. Because I'm going to break my own network. I have too many Frank, franchises. Frank, I'm not going to have Frank, another. you are absolutely right. Frank says, Anton, never heard you complain about old business. You just wish the best thing. I just keep it moving. I don't even care. I move on and I do my thing. Um, let me read some of these super chats also. Uh, JC Cuss says, O'Shea got emotional uh, on this one. <laughs> okay, you can make that. You... you Got too emotional on this one. Okay, I feel you. Thank you for the super chats, big dog. Adrian Terrell Porterfield says, man, Dame is truly never leaving Steve Stout out of his mouth, which is another reason why I can understand why Steve Stout, when asked by Shannon Sharp, he gave the answer that he gave. They both seem like they're just arch enemies because of Jay-Z. It's a lover's quarrel over Jay-Z. Dame wished what wanted Jay-Z for himself. Steve Stout finessed, and so now it's a lover's quarrel. <laughs> you're telling me what to do about an experience that's more actual to me than them so of course they're going to paint a picture how you think jesus got hung up on the cross they convinced somebody and his name's joshua joshua got hung up on the cross allegedly wait wait wait! did somebody say currency mu music is trash great classic you smoking rocks just say it's not for you but currency music be slapping slapping because somebody said he was a bad guy Right or wrong? Yeah, yeah. true. And paraphr paraphrasing the story, yeah. condensing it yeah. pretty much, yeah. Shorter shorter version, yes. Yeah. But I think Rashad was going to bring all something up about good delivery. <laughs> what I'm saying, Dave, Dave, here's my, here's my, Dave, here's my thing, though, Dave. In, in self-reflection, do you feel that sometimes your delivery can, because like I said, I, I think, um, uh, Black is back. I think I'm going to save. I'm live streaming tomorrow night, too. So Saturday night, we live streaming um, because we almost three hours in. I think I'm going to wind up speaking on that tomorrow. We can pull up the future versus Drake, Drake, Cole, all of them. We can get into all of that tomorrow. I understand it, right? I understand it. I'm familiar with the way that you talk, even without knowing you. So I don't I don't take anything personally. A lot of people. No, no, no. Question. Question, question, question. Let me. I'm going to bring you up in a minute. You've known me for a good amount before you had a logo. You've known me, right? Your, your first, your, you know, when you first got the, every second you met me, what have I tried to do but anything but help you? I said right? you're, I said when that. You, yeah, yeah. You, I said, incredibly I helpful. You, yeah. I said you're, you're, can I finish? Can I finish? Yes. Let me, I'm not asking for your validation. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about logic. So, the things that you hear about me, you have never seen, and you've been around me more than them, correct? I've been around you a lot. Y'all sure. froze. Y'all froze. You, can you hear me? Can you hear us? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think we're still good. We're still good on your our Right. Your, your personal experience with me has not been anything that you've heard. Ask you this. The way that I've Giving you information, would you want me to do it different? 
can I can I say can I speak? Can I speak? I gotta speak. I gotta be able to communicate my thoughts here. I Every said, time you talk, the shit cuts out. You must be saying some bullshit. No, I'm playing. Go ahead. I'm a little. I'm a little bit more. I think I'm very mild mannered person, and I have no um, man. See, you're giving me no. No, stop. Stop. I'm not doing no, it. Yo, Dame, don't let nobody speak, bro. Come on, we gotta let my guy finish, man. Come on, we from the same spot. No, you gotta let my guy finish. I don't want to hear mild high yellow nigga shit right now. I got it. I'm trying to explain to you. Mild high yellow niggas. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm trying to say that I think I think that my life experiences, my temperament, my admiration and respect for you. It, it, I'm a different type of person. I don't take things personal. I could I could listen to you. I could. But I think every single, depending on your background, depending on how you was raised, depending on your temperament, you might, some things might be triggering to some people. I bother you. Yeah. You, yes, Dane. Yes. He my cousin, I swear, yo. Do you know anybody else that's friends with you that has a bad experience with me? I don't know anybody that has a bad experience with you that I know personally. Mm -hmm. No. Well, but don't <laughs> think you, you're some special guy because I don't yell at you. I don't yell at people. That's not me. Okay. It's not so that's, what, no, that's what that's what I'm trying to get. Dan, that's what this is what I'm trying to get. You try to say it's a false narrative. You, that this is this is important. Yeah. It, okay. But I need you to say it. Of course, I'm gonna say it. You should say yeah. it. But I don't know if it's a false narrative or not. You do know it's a false no, narrative. You've been around me. I've seen you scream. Before. You know it's a false <laughs> narrative. You know how <laughs> talk about it, Rashad. Rashad said, listen. I've seen you scream before. Come on, man. Listen, people like or dislike Dame for whatever their reasons are, but we're not going to cap now. We're not going to cap. Dame is literally on, on camera, right or wrong, going in and yelling at people. It's just the facts. Right or wrong, Dame is on camera yelling at people. Jesus Christ. Around flipping on people. I'm the coolest nigga you know. Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. So think, about, like, think about mustard. You got to realize something. You know what it looked like to be in your 20s doing what I was doing first generation? And I can only smart. imagine, yo. Legendary. Terrorist. Before social media, oh, my God, terrorists. Terrorists, yeah. bro. You don't even know. I'm, you, why you think they're still talking about me 20 years later? Nigga, I do it to death and still doing it. I'm 52 years old and I'm just still having. Look at this. The pretty good. I'm just making sure. I'm directing, doing interviews at the same time. How the fuck? I have my own television network. How can I be doing something wrong and I didn't raise a dollar? Who you know that did that? Name one. But but you do Name have one. to realize. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm from Name your tribe. Hold on. Network. And 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 look, I'm I'm gonna say this right now. I taught Zips, uh Name one. I'm not gonna do that. But anyone that you even know that's in this game, I taught them. That's that that that. Trust me. Yeah. I was doing streaming services before Netflix when Netflix had um, VHS DVDs. Yeah. I've been. I, I always have to wait for industry to catch up. Ian, question. In the art of war, though. Cause I'm from your tribe. I'm with the fuck it, blow it up, get yo, right to it. But even like the other wars for the devil. Everybody with yo, in every single executive's office that you go to, they got that book, The Art of War. It's so are they devils because they're vultures or because they're, they're devils? Because it, it, the art of war is for, is for cheaters. It's about fucking. That's when I when I I read the art of war just to see what those dumbass niggas was going to do. Yeah, 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 you you have to know. Same with forty eight laws. Yeah. With your rep one of the main things is fuck with your reputation, correct? Absolutely. Yep. So what are they trying but, to do? Why again? Why would he get on? Listen, I must be hot. If sounds like uh they read the whole book and Dame only read the cliff notes. <laughs> it sounds like they read the whole book and Dame should have read the like listen, you <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, he did not read the entire book. Apparently, he didn't read the entire book. Boy, oh boy.
20 years later, in the middle of an interview, somebody got to talk about what I did 20 years ago that I have shit to do with them. That means from them observing, they want to be me. I'm about, I retired at 35. I'm 52 right now. Think about Go, going back three year old or yeah, what, what you was doing like your 20s. What your, most motherfuckers was children or in jail or whatever. I came from everything dysfunctional family, mother died, diabetes, and I'm up like in first generation breaking a social yeah. class by the time I was 19. Well, no blueprint. What do you think that looked like, yeah. Freestyling, and then motherfuckers got the nerve to say I could have did it wrong. I'm like, nigga, I was a kid. What are you talking about? Look what I did. Look what I do. Why? What you should be saying, yo, you was amazing. I can't believe you dealt with all that shit at that age like that without going. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know how you did it. <laughs> yeah, Ian, Ian said, let me do, get do you. Um, that's why. They, that's why they can't get over it. Y'all ain't yo. gonna never be me. That's what's not gonna happen. Not yo. Yo. Um. Ian and Rashad can't even get a question off. They can't respond. They can't get a question off. They can't get nothing. Read the super chat shortly. But those that want to, that are like trying to act like it, like even the stuff I go to court for, everyone always tries to steal my work. Like, but if you know that, should you well, should you not give them ammunition to continue to steal? But if you know that, if you know that. Should you continue to give people the ammunition to steal? Like I've said this publicly, I don't think you. Get... Oh, it's I, haven't, I haven't been around this nigga in twenty years. You ain't, what ammunition I'm giving him? I'm a fucking and went there. Hey, 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 is, hey is everlasting. You know that. But what I'm saying is, I'm not give. What ammunition am I giving somebody? Just hear me out real quick. I rock with you. I fuck with you. I'm, like, I'm from the, I'm from the same tribe as you, right? But my thing is, if you know people are going to steal your ideas. And I've said it plenty of times. That same talk you gave at Breakfast Club when Gary V say it, said it, they ate that shit up like it was Jesus. And you was on entrepreneurship way, way before Gary. Shout out to Gary, D-Rock, Mike, everybody. But my thing is, if you know they're painting the narrative to defame you, to then steal, why not? And I think this is what Rashad was getting to. Why not be nicer to alleviate the threat of more stealing happening why do you keep saying i'm not nice because i yelled at leo you just gotta stop saying that you brainwashed who am i not nice to what all right they're going in circles kind of sort and let me get my dog slimmy in the building uh hey, hey, what up, hey. Dang. What up, damn man he do what he do he take one step forward and he take 10 steps back facts bro <laughs> A hundred percent facts, man. Real talk. <laughs> this is insane, bro. I don't know this what with him, bro. Oh, oh man. let me he do this. So he was doing so well, man. I don't know what the hell is up with him, man. It's 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 like he can't stop. He yeah. he gotta he gotta he obsessed, man. He he just can't stop. He can't get himself together, and I don't know what that is, bro. Yeah, it's weird, bro. Like then he I, for a split second, I I had to, I disagreed with you, where uh, he 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 didn't bring up Jay Z, but in a way he did. Yeah, he he, he, he they didn't ask him about Jay. It's a, it's it's almost like a segue to open up to him talking about Jay. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't ask him nothing about Steve Stout. I would I would tell him before the interview, bro, do not mention Jay-Z. Don't mention <laughs> Don't mention Jay-Z. But no, pe people, well, yeah, his people should say that. But nobody, but here's the yeah. thing. Nobody can control Dame. Yeah, it's true. Nobody so, can control Dame. It's not, it's not like, see, the, I think that the smartest people um, actually have people around them that they can consider and that they listen to. And so even if, you don't even if the general public don't see them, it's people around me that I reference or that I call. I talk to my accountant a lot of times and I ask him, Hey man, um, I want to do this or I want to do that. Does this make sense? And they'd be like, Yeah, or no, you know what I'm saying? Or let me call you back and I'll give you a decision. I talk to the women that's around me, people that work for me, and I'll be like, Man, you think I'm this makes sense? And they'd be like, I don't think that's a good. And I listen to him. And by the time I get on, we didn't already came to the conclusion or we made that decision 
or I take them into consideration because I think that they got eyes and in, in, in what they look at things differently from me. And so I respect them. And that's one of the reasons why I keep them around me. But I don't think that Dame can be controlled. Like he, I don't think he can. I just, he just seemed like he going to do what he want to do when he want to do it. And that's, I think that that's a recipe for disaster. You always got to have people that you can source and, and lean into and take advice from. Yeah. I, I, I think that's his problem, man. Like, He's so passionate and he's so genuine and that's his downfall because yeah. like I said, like those things, those things have you take things too personal. He's taking every, he's taking all this shit with business way too personal. Yeah. Obviously it felt like they was some kind of tribunal and it, and it didn't work out. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So he's taking this shit to the heart, to the grave. Like these niggas didn't double cross me. Uh, you know, Steve Stout wanted my spot the whole time. Lior, Lior probably is fucked up. Like, who knows? I'm not gonna get into that, but mm -hmm. ain't gonna tell. But dang, he really should be taking the high road now. Like you told your story yeah. ten over. You didn't told it ten times over. It should not just keep leading back to oh Jay this, Jay that. Oh Steve stop this, Steve stop that. It he should he should be to a point where when they ask him about Steve stop, yeah, and all and everything. Next question. Next question. He can't Next help question. it. Yeah, he just he's just so passionate and so he's so scorned from that from that business. You know, he's so scorned from it and he feels so so wrong. He feels like he got done so wrong. Like he can't mm -hmm. he, he can't let it go. He can't. Yeah, I agree. I, not let it go. I, I think it's eating him alive, bro. It's just like can't, oh, you can't be that you can't be that hurt about it. And mm -hmm. think that you're gonna still be able to function at a high level. It's like homeboy that sent you them emails. <laughs> Dog, he sent me about eight more. <sighs> he can't punch crazy. <laughs> he hit me up every day. Hey man, then the then the nigga switched up again and said, Hey man, I need to ask you some questions about my wife. I said, Man. What? Did I yes, dog nigga was trying to get another coaching call. Like, nigga, dog, get, get the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, it's it's People be having people be having their connections to folks when they really should just be focused on themselves and like yeah. doing it for themselves, man. Like Dang definitely he's successful, man. He don't need to talk about Jay Z no more. <laughs> I never came talking about the new endeavors that he got going on. I don't I either. He was at that studio. He he's so caught up in that conversation. He at that studio. All he said was, "Look, I'm 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 doing a, I'm doing a movie right now, and I'm and I'm on an interview." Well, tell us about the movie. Right, Yo, right. That's a prime plug right there. A shameless plug should have been like immediately. I hey, think hey. people pull Dame on to see what his perspective is about Jay and the Rock. Yeah, man. It's, if it's if, if Dame. If Dame said publicly, I'm never, ever going to speak on and talk about Jay-Z or Rockefeller anymore, shit would get dry for him out here, I believe. Probably so. I mean, they, I, they would still have him on your leisure, though. They would still have him on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure for that. But, but like, it's, like, else? it's like Gene Deal for Puff, right? The only oh, fucking man. thing that Gene Deal ever talks about is Puff. Like, nobody asked Gene Deal, hey, what else you got going on or whatever like that. That's his only play is Puff. That's it. He did a 1,000 Puff interviews. And honestly, like, when I start seeing people like that, when I start seeing that shit, I don't even want to fuck with it. Like, I don't, I don't fuck with it anyway, but it's like, yo, that's all you got to talk about? I don't really want to talk about that. I want to talk about something else. Yeah, bro, I ain't never watched none of his interviews. I'm just, like, I, I seen, like, a clip. I seen this one clip and he he was just like, I'm thinking I'm thinking to myself like, yo, this somebody whose house you was in, you know, they welcomed you into your home, mm -hmm. you're a part of. Me. Why are you talking about what happened in the house? Yeah, that shit is disgusting to me, man. It's just like, yo, I trusted you in my family's life, and you on here telling all these, you know, all this shit that happened. I don't on trust my nobody, bro. You can't. I don't. Okay. I will be. I I make people sign all kind of paperwork around me, bro. No, I feel you, cause, cause bro, everybody ain't cut from this. Most people ain't cut from the same cloth. 
And most people, they ain't keeping no secrets. Facts. They, they ain't keeping no secrets. They'll they wait they 10 years secrets. from now and be like, yeah, uh, let me tell you what I think happened. And that shit don't even be true, bro. Yeah, man. Motherfuckers want to go viral so bad, like in this day and age. And they don't even realize what they selling to go viral. Facts. Like, like that should be crazy. Oh, I do want to talk about your boy though. I, O'Shea. Ooh. Oh yeah, O'Shea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was, he was a little off. He was a little off because he was totally off. His his talking points, his talking points, like about Candace Owens, and and mm-hmm. and uh, I, like I got it. Uh, I'm at, frozen. At, I'm yeah, you froze a little bit. Nobody ever said Bill Cosby had some of the same talking points Candace Owens had about the black community. Yeah. Nobody ever said Bill Cosby doesn't want black ownership. He, mm. I think he, I think he got up on the fact that she, she married outside of the race. Mm. You know, and a lot of people that's pro black, they feel like you can't be pro black if you don't marry a black person. Yeah. You, you remember that room we had, man? That, yep, I remember. Like bullshit, and like people feel like if pro black is. It's very divisive, man. Like it, it's 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 causing more division than anything. It doesn't yeah, settle. Yeah, I, I don't see it as a benefit. I see it as, yeah. I see it as as a hindrance to everything. Yeah, exactly. Like it was all them people. Everybody's like, "Oh, you ain't pro black because of this. You ain't pro black because." Of that. I'm like, "Do y'all agree on anything about what mm-hmm. pro black is? <laughs> like, do y- y'all can't even tell me what pro black is. That's a fact." Y'all but that's where I think Homeboy was a little bit off at because ain't nobody ever said Bill Cosby. I mean, he stood for black ownership, and he yeah. has some of the same talking points that she has. Yeah. So like, I don't know. But, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, I mean, you got to come through tomorrow because I think I'm. A, I think I'm gonna talk about this whole Kendrick Drake and all of this stuff. Situation. Woo! I know you. I know you've been. You've been waiting to talk about that, boy. Woo! Yeah. I needed to make sure it was real. Oh, I, yeah. I seen Sean hey. out, so. 